Hello and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping, your little space where you get to see a crazy fish lady in her little apartment, uh, breed fish, share fish adventures, and all my other pets and plants and all sorts of things. And once in a while, I will review a product. So today we're gonna dive in once again, and we're gonna be tackling the Half Moon LED Beta Environment by Tetra, which cleverly does have a uh, half moon design. It's plasticky, it, is, it has a light, and we're gonna take a look at not only the design to see if this is a potentially viable environment for your fish, but we're also gonna take a look at the instructions, what kind of educational material, questionably, they're providing. And we're gonna really like we're just we're gonna dive in. We're gonna dive in. We're gonna critique this. And if you like to watch me suffer as I critique some of these enclosures, definitely check out the playlist I will have available at the end of this video. And if you like this video and if you want to see me review more things, there are a couple more things I've been wanting to review. If that's something you enjoy, that definitely let me know down in the comments below. And if you like it, that's something I will definitely consider doing. So without further ado, let's unbox this uh, very interesting uh, plastic container for fish. So here is the tank itself. Here are all the things that are not included. They actually give you an entire list. They provide Tetra Care support. The gimmick that they're trying to promote here is that the light is movable, so it can be either placed on top or bottom. Here is an example of what they think it would look like. And the tank itself comes with just an LED light. A feeding hole, I don't know why that's a feature. I guess they didn't have any other features so they had to make things up. And you can make it battery operated or USB compatible. That's kind of all they really have going for them. Uh, they mentioned once again that things are not included and that you do not keep more than one beta in the same tank, which at least is really good advice. Hello, Littlefoot, thank you for helping. Now in the back, that there's more instructions, but I'll take a closer look at those once I open this up. Took off the foil, I guess this is the light. It's a little taped up right here. It's not really secured in any way. Let's take off the tape so we can get a better look at this. Oh, so this is a super fancy LED light that is the big fancy feature. This is the little stand that pops off. I don't know why this isn't really secure, but here we are. So we have this, and then once I flip this over, it has the, <clears throat> excuse me, same identical part right here. I know, there's our magical feeding hole. Magical, magical. There is a space for a little cable here, I guess. So if you have a heater, uh, that would go in here. So this is the lid. And then here is the little cardboard display and all the information that we can take a look at in a sec. And overall, that's kind of it. There's just, there's no assembly required because this is it. That's, that's it right there. As I'm adding in some batteries that I had to get separately myself, because uh, I didn't find a USB cable to attach to this. Here we have the light, let's test it out. Oh, snaps. It's, it's a light, it's a light. I also realized that uh, as I was looking this up, this is no longer available on Amazon. This used to be Amaz one of Amazon's most recommended tanks, surprisingly and then it got removed and you can only get it on Chewy for at the moment 1721. So for 17 bucks, you can get yourself a about one, uh, 1 1.5 gallon acrylic plastic container with a light and a feeding hole. Are there any pros and cons to this? Um, let's see. For starters, I guess the feeding hole is okay, but it's large enough where the beta can very easily just jump out if it wanted to. I do like that they provide this little hole right here if you do put a heater inside, but there are no options for hanging any filtration. So as you can see, even if you wanted to put a filter, 
that was small enough that maybe hung right here. If it wasn't a sponge filter, you know, that bubbles, then you would have to keep the lid off. And then the, your only option really is at that point to just keep the light underneath. And that's kind of it. And if you actually wanted to grow some real plants, that doesn't really help you because plants need light from above, not below. But uh, I have one idea that kind of came to me where I might actually put this to good use. Not that I would recommend it for anyone, but for me personally, I had the realization that if I cover this part right here and this part so there's no air coming in and out, I could actually turn this into a little terrarium for some moss. Uh, I wouldn't put water in here, but actually do a little moss setup. So is there a potential to do something cool with it? You have to really think outside of the box beyond its intended use. And if that's the case, then there's no point in purchasing this. If you're gonna try to use it for something completely different that you wanna get creative with. If you wanna take a better look at the instructions again, so since there's less glare, here you can pause and these are the things that they recommend that you buy, which is just, they're saying here, buy this so you can buy more of our products pretty much. They do have their Tetra Care, which I've never actually called myself. It does tell you, oh, I thought it was 1.5 gallon, but it actually is, and it's really, really tiny text. It holds 1.1 gallons, and here are the approximate dimensions. So at least they tell you that, you know, even though it's not a whole lot. So this is pretty much about the same size as the, as the jars that I jar my fish in. So if I wanted a jar, uh, one of my fish temporarily, and I guess wanted them to be fancy with their own fancy light, I can see using this, but I see one potential problem already arising is cleaning this might be a little tricky because of the shape. And I know some people will say that a big issue is the dome, like the round glass, and then it distorts the fish's view. There's not actual science that I'm aware of that backs it up. It's one of those things that someone on the internet said and people were like, yeah, that makes sense. And then they started spreading it around and then it became fact that's being shared around. So I don't think the shape itself is a problem. I just, this is not a practical, practical thing. So see, once again, they demonstrate the movable light, which if you have, you know, transparent gravel and some fake plants, I, I guess would work. But really, for for the amount of money that you're paying for almost $20, I just, I don't really see the point and the purpose. Now they do also uh, provide you more information on getting started with your tank. And this part I'm always really interested in because if you're a beginner fish keeper, you, might, you may or may not read this, but this will usually give you some starting information and sometimes that's the only information a new fish keeper might have. So that's why I think these are really important. So let's kind of keep this still for a second. So it says uh, carefully remove the packaging. They're talking about how to set up the light, rinse your gravel, decorate before adding to water. That makes sense. Fill the tank with room temperature tap water and eight drops of te tetra beta safe see this part i hate when they say room temperature water because room temperature water it really varies based on where you're at and if you're going by like the standard room temperature that you would see in your average american home from what I'm aware, the average temperature for an American household that's like room temperature would be 75 degrees, which is way too cold for a beta. Then they have some safety instructions. So they say you should, you know, not set this up. You know, you should set it up with um, adult supervision. Mm, use it for its intended use. Uh, make sure the aquarium is securely seated before filling. Okay, so all these are, are, you know, just basic safety things so they don't get sued. And then the last part is, you apparently have a limited warranty, um, and that's kind of it. There's nothing about um, heat in here, there's nothing about filtration, there's nothing about uh, cycling your tank, which are all really important things that they completely leave out. And you know, it's kind of sad. 
So here is the tank once again at nighttime. I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the light. The light itself is not really that strong, so I don't think it would be super great for growing a lot of plants if that was something you were interested in. I'm just assuming that this was intended to be a system that is filter no filtration, probably no heat, um, just like a jar for your fish, but with a fancy light. So overall, taking a look at this, would I recommend that anyone purchase it? I would say nope. A big thumbs down. It's The design is cute, but it's not really useful for anything. And there's much more better things you can purchase for your better fish for a much better price, I think, in my opinion.